That's a ringing noise. You who play the role of Rido and witness this spectacle, I must tell you. It is extremely painful for me, but I must make you aware of the cruel truth. Soon you and the other people will become witnesses. There will come a day when this world is overcome by misfortune. You will bear witness to this. If you have witnessed this spectacle, then the day of misfortune is now inescapable. But I do not want you to despair. The future past that day of the future past that day of misfortune, I want you to take a look at the sorrowful face I wear. This sorrow. It is the feelings of those who despair for the future after the day of misfortune. The only one who can save the people from this sorrow is the one who assumes the name of Rido. The one witnessing this spectacle. Only you. Therefore, I want to entrust you with hope. The words I am about to impart. These are my actions to overcome misfortune by borrowing the forms of those you are familiar with. You who play the role of Rido and witness this spectacle. I would prefer if you listened to my to this theory. The prevailing theory is to equate discontent with misfortune, yet to submit wholly to the flow of luck. That comes about as a result of one realizing that to resist is a meaningless act. My hope is that you come to see the wisdom of the theory involving the acceptance of misfortune. <sighs> Breathe. <laughs> when the day of misfortune comes, the theory of your future will be tested. You should accept it. Do you understand? Nope. What? <laughs> Misfortune is the way of this world. There is no other valid theory. Th this is outside the bounds of my conjecture. You who play the role of Rido and witness this spectacle. Yeah, you there. There is something I want you to hear. What I'm about to say is... Look, this might sound weird. Take Don. You've been watching him, right? Pretend you're him and listen to me. Being born into a clan of assassins and being called a killer. Having to sit there and watch Akane be sacrificed to Lord Tento. If you could tell yourself it was all just bad luck, there wouldn't be any trouble, right? But to accept it, 
That kind of action is the death of the self. You should know. You came here. Misfortune is something that has to be resisted. It looks like the day of misfortune will come. But... It won't be the last day. We have a future. The day of misfortune... It's not the end of the world. What's the value of a future where you deny yourself and just accept the bad things that will happen to you? Resisting misfortune. You get the idea, right? Right? That's normal, huh? You've got potential, kid. You can act all mature and say that doing nothing in the face of bad luck is a valid action. But you won't be fooling anyone, not really. It is just an excuse for those without the guts to resist. Misfortune is the closest and the worst natural disaster in this world. You who play the role of Rido have heard the words of your associates. Some accept misfortune, others resist. The two paths are utterly opposite to one another, but both are actions to take hold of the future. Rido Kusanoa, on the coming day of misfortune, I want you to be the hope that those who despair in the future will badly need. In themselves, your actions to take hold of your future will be a form of hope for the people. Raido Kusanoa, do not forget this. Or perhaps all those who have, been, have seen this spectacle. You must listen, so that you will not repeat his error. Either action involving taking hold of the future is equally noble. Neither is innately good nor evil. H however... To avoid your actions dictating the future of others. Remember, you are responsible for your actions. Acting without responsibility is destruction. Act responsibly, Raido Kusanoa. What the hell was that? It was, it was like a gurgling sound. I'm sorry, but we only handle special cases. That's just how it is. Yes. Goodbye now. What's going on out there? We've been getting a boatload of inquiries today. Morning, Rido. Did I wake you up? You can slip in a little if you feel like it. There's nothing urgent on our plate. Although, that reminds me. About that Tsukigata case. It's already been, what, five days since it's finished up? <clears throat> Excuse me. Afternoon, Raido, Goto. Oh, and Narumi, I suppose. Narumi, where's the coffee in this joint? My throat's dry as a whistle. Huh. 
Hey, you ever stop and think that maybe it's a little harsh to tack me on to the end like that? And I told you before, this isn't a cafe. It's the Narumi Detective Agency. D. Tech. Dev. Gosh, someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Relax, Narumi. I come bearing gifts. You're lucky I stopped by Tsukuda's show on my way to do some investigating. Feast your eyes. Shortcake from the desert parlor. What's wrong, Narumi? You look... glum. Don't you like cake? Oh, no, it's not that. It just puts me in mind of this girl who... wanted to become a patissier. Excuse me. Tay, make yourself at home. Coffee's on. Say, Raido. Who was Narumi talking about just now? Y you feeding me a line? Poor Akane. She gave up her dream of being a patissier for the sake of her home village. And she was sacrificed. A sacrificial ritual. We're talking about the same Tsukagata village, right? I can't believe it. To think that still to think that still goes on in this day and age, and people still go along with it willingly. Look, Raido. Narumi might have said those things. But there's no way he's not worried sick about Akane inside. <sighs> I shouldn't have brought the shortcake, should I? It's not your fault. Ah, uh, it's okay, Raido. I'm glad you're thinking of, of me, but... I have known Narumi for a long time. I know what he's like. And knowing him the way I do, I'm sure he'll all, he's all balled up inside with grief. That's so like him. He's too kind. Sorry, but... I should be going. Tell Narumi I said hi. See ya, Raido. Jeez Louise, the phone's been ringing off the hook. I can't even count how many we've had today. And every last one of them's a missing persons case. Huh? Wasn't Tay just here? Did he go home already? Oh, Raido! Thank goodness you're still here. You too, Narumi. Listen up. It's really cloudy outside, and there wasn't a cloud in the sky when I first came over. For crying out loud, loud, what is going on today? First my gift goes wrong, and now the weather. Cripes, I just remembered. My laundry is still on the clothesline. Of all the rotten luck. Uh, that dames like a typhoon. Another inquiry. Guess I shouldn't complain if business is booming. <laughs>